Yeah, good afternoon to all of you. Is my voice is audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let me wait for a minute. So meanwhile, you can, for the attendance, you can write your name in chat box. Okay? So as the LMS is not working. There are some issues with the LMS. Okay, so it is not opening. So you can write your name and roll number in the chat box for that. Okay. Okay, fine, it is not working. That's why others are not joining on the time people. So I think you all of you uh, got the notice that for the lab session you must have for the lab session, you must sit with the laptop or the system. Yes or no? Yes? Is that correct? So did you get the notice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not on yet, sir. Yes? So yes, sir. We have seen that notice. Yeah? How yes, sir. We have seen that notice. Yeah, then uh, right now, how many are having the laptop with you or desktop? Just raise your hand, those who are having the laptop. So, if you find this card, is there? Fine. Yes, sir. Are they still there? Okay, Kumar Pandey is there. Tanya Kumar is there. So what about the rest? So thing is, uh, until you will not practice, okay. So for this lab session, you do not write the code uh, with yourself, and you do not analyze that things. You will not uh, get it uh, actually what you are doing. Fine. So the voice is not clear. Yeah. Now, 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 it is audible. Yes, sir, it is Sorry. audible, but uh, it is breaking too much. Yeah, there are some weather issues actually. I'm not like, presently I'm not so there are some cyclones coming. You may be heard about that. So, it is a weather issue there. So, that's the reason the network may be persuaded. So, unable to get it, what did you say, said right now? I'm saying that uh, there are some weather issues here. Okay, right now I'm in Odisha. Fine. So, due to which maybe the network is breaking. Yes, sir. Okay. So I will try to manage. If I will repeat something you not get, just uh, ask me again. So, I will repeat that. Fine. So, if you next slide, I will give you a Fine. Okay. The thing is, you must practice the first thing. Because already, uh, if I think, uh, first semester, say, you look programming main here. Is that right? From the first semester, you, you are not at the programming yeah, part. True. Yeah. So it is already four semester over here, and you are not practicing any of the programming apps. That definitely is going to hamper in the near future. If you don't do programming, then you will not do it. So you will not do it. Until you do it, you will not do it. 
उससे अगर आइडेंटिफाई नहीं करते हो तब तक यूजफुल नहीं हो क्लियर सो हाई होप इट इज क्लियर सो दो आर लेट ज्वाइन फॉर द अटेंडेंस टू डेज अटेंडेंस सो जस्ट गो टू दैट बॉक्स एंड राइट विद यू एंड द Okay, so let's let us start. So in the previous lab, I think we have discussed uh, how to implement the very first algorithm, which is your uh, first come, first serve using C program. Yes, yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, sir. Any doubt regarding that? Any doubt regarding that program? Any doubt? Okay, if you are not having any doubt, so today we are going to discuss rest of our program. Okay, or rest of our. Jakarta uh, Lassi. Okay, so today we will going to learn. Uh, Other different uh, CPU scheduling algorithm, which is a shortage of first priority scheduling, and last one is round robin. And so, without wasting any further time, so let let us start the session. Okay, so so write the. Uh, experiment number three. Okay, today so sorry. Experiment number four. I think it is four or three. Uh, is it fourth lab or third lab? Sir, four. Uh, first lab we are studied about okay different different types of windows and familiar with the windows. Second is something about what are the system calls we are having. Linux window operating system and part one we are studied about CPU scheduling that to be FCA. Okay, now fourth lab. Write down the fourth lab. So write down the aim of the experiment. So aim of the experiment is write a program. Okay, write a program to simulate the CPU scheduling algorithm for shortage job first. Okay, so write down this. This is aim of the program or what we are going to implement in today's class. So as we are already discussed in the uh, in the class, okay. So the shortest job first. If I say shortest job first, so basically, okay. So what is the basic concept? Can anyone explain? What is the basic concept? Suppose there is a process P1, P2, P3, and P4, and suppose I have given the arrival time for them. Suppose this is one. Zero, three, two, along that. Or let me not try the other time. Suppose, suppose the bus time is given, or CPU time is given for every process. Suppose this is ten, this is ten, this is five, this is eight. So, how do we schedule? How do we schedule this process to a CPU? What is the basic concept of SGL? Just anyone? So, what is the basic concept of SGL? Boss, sir, जिसका भी boss time कम होगा वो पहले schedule होगा. Yeah. So, what we have to do now? First thing we have to do what? What if suppose if if I if I assume all the processes are arrived at time zero. ठीक है अगर time zero पर arrived हुए हैं. ठीक है तो what I will do? Whatever the process are there, I will sort this process according to their bus time. That means in the uh, increasing order. Why? मतलब छोटे से बड़ा. पहला step क्या करोगे? तो अभी जितने भी process arrive हुए होंगे. I hope my voice is audible to all of you. Yes, sir. So what we will do? Yes, sir. So whatever the process is arrive, we will sort this process in increasing order. That means the uh, order of मतलब जिसका सबसे छोटा बस टाइम है उसको पहले उसके बाद उसके बाद जिसका नेक्स्ट बस टाइम सो अब इसको हम शॉर्ट करेंगे ना तो व्हाट द प्रोसेस विल बी द प्रोसेस पी थ्री पहले शॉर्ट होगा देन प्रोसेस पी फोर देन 
process P1, then process P2. Okay, so because the concept is I have to assign the process which is having lowest burst time. So how to how I will find the lowest burst time? So what I will do, I will sort this entire burst time in a sense uh, in increasing order. Fine. So once I assign this process in increasing order, now I can easily identify which process is having least burst time and which process is having the maximum burst time. So the assigning is very simple. Now I will assign first P3 as P3 is having the lowest. So once P3 is finished the task, so I will assign P4. Then once P4 is finished its task, I will assign P1. Then I will assign P2. Okay, so while assigning, what we have to do now, now we have to finally have to find the average waiting time. Okay, average waiting time and average turnaround time. So, why we are finding these two terms? Because if you find any these two terms, average turnaround time. If you find these two terms, now I can find the throughput of the system. If I, if I am able to find the throughput of the system, then I can easily find CP utilization. So our main goal is maximize the CP utilization. The CP scheduling, the short term scheduling, the main goal is what we have to do. We have to maximize CP utilization. Ko maximize karna hai. Fine. So let us understand the algorithm first, how the algorithm will be work. Then I will explain the uh, C programming code for this one, then we will implement this one. Okay. So, as if you already know the concept, now the algorithm is very simple. Now we start the process. Okay, that's step number one. Start the process. Okay. Step number two, accept the number of process in ready to. So I will ask the user to input the number of process. So I will just give the message like print the number of process that we want to schedule. Okay, it can be P1 to P n number of process can be placed in a ready queue. Okay. Now for the each process, uh, whatever the process the user assigns in a ready queue, what we will do? I will assign a process ID. Okay. So as we know, process ID is unique ID which is assigned to each process. So which will be uniquely identified in your system. Okay, the role of process ID. Okay, what process ID will do? Process ID is basically it is a unique ID given to the each process which will be uniquely identified in your system. Okay, then we will enter the CPU burst time. So how much time the each process is required? Okay, how much time the each process is required to execute? Fine. So once this is given, now this this two part step number two and step number three is basically your input part. Okay, the input that will be provided by the user uh, in this program. Now, once we are ready with the process ID at first time, what we have to do, for, as I already said, now we have to sort sort this process according to the first time. So, step number four, the same thing we have done. Okay, now once we are ready with the uh, ready with the ready queue, now we have to sort the process. Okay, sort the process according to the first time. And sorting will be how the sorting will perform. The sorting will be lowest to highest burst time. That means the sorting will be in increasing order. Okay, that means the lowest process burst time will be assigned or, or will be sorted first. Then the highest uh, assigned burst time will be placed next. Okay, so once you have sort the algorithm, the rest of thing is very similar to the uh, what we have learned in first come first serve. That means if there is only one process. Okay, if I am assuming, suppose there is only one process, then what will happen? So I know that for that the waiting time will be zero. And what is the turnaround time for that one? Turnaround time for that process will be equal to its waiting time. Oh, sorry, its burst time. So whatever the time burst time, it will be a turnaround time. Now this is a case based case. You have to consider for the every cases. Now what we have done here in the step number five, same thing. Now what we are doing, we are setting the waiting time. For the first process equal to zero because it is a very first process and its turnaround time will be its first time. And this is what we have done in case of what uh, first come first scheduling. Okay. 
Now next, what we will sort the process name based on the first time. So we have already sorted. So for each process, it is ready to now. Here we now we have to perform certain operation for each process now. So that is the reason we will apply a for loop here for i equal to one से लेके i जो होगा आपका less than equal to n n के आपका number of process i plus plus. ठीक है? क्या करना है? इन सभी process को क्या करना है भी? क्या करना है भी? हम लोग को अभी सभी प्रोसेस का हम लोग क्या निकालेंगे वेटिंग टाइम और टर्न लॉक टाइम तो इसलिए आप लोग देखो कैलकुलेट नाउ फॉर ईच प्रोसेस इन रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट द फर्स्ट प्रोसेस ओके पहले प्रोसेस को छोड़ के क्योंकि पहले प्रोसेस का हम लोग ऑलरेडी वेटिंग टाइम और बर्थ टाइम निकाल टाइम एंड टाइम निकाल चुके हैं सो व्हाट वी डू फॉर द ईच प्रोसेस व्हाट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट नाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वेटिंग टाइम एंड द टर्न अराउंड टाइम यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला सो व्हाट इज द वेटिंग टाइम वेटिंग टाइम इज नथिंग बट सो इफ आई से व्हाट इज द वेटिंग टाइम ऑफ पी2 सो वेटिंग टाइम ऑफ पी2 Will be nothing but waiting time of P1. Now it will be the waiting time of P1 plus waiting time of, oh sorry, first time of P1. If suppose there is a two process, so I am saying there are two process P1 and P2. Okay. Now they are arranged in increasing order in this way. Fine. Pile P1, pile P2. Now if I want to calculate the waiting time of P1, so what will the waiting time of P1? Waiting time of P1 will be waiting time of what the amount of time the p1 is waited plus the amount of time p1 is uh, p1 is executed or occupied the what occupied your cpu so what will the waiting time of p2 it will nothing but waiting time of p1 plus first time of p1 now in this case the waiting time of p1 will be zero because it is very first process and suppose the first time is n now the waiting time of p2 will be n Now suppose there is a three process. Now suppose I am saying there are three process. Okay. Now if I want to calculate the waiting time of P3, so what is the waiting time of P3? Now its turn of P3 will be come after P1 and P2. Yes or no? Turn of P1 to P3 का आएगा. P1 P3 का जो turn है, कब आएगा आपका? P3 का जो turn है, आपका आएगा P1 and P2 के बाद. That means you have to calculate the waiting time of these two first. Okay. These two process. Now to calculate the waiting time of these two process, if I calculate the waiting time of P1, okay, sorry, waiting time of P2, plus what will happen? Now it will be the burst time of P2, burst time of P2. Fine. Now if you elaborate this one, further expand करेंगे तो ये क्या है? It will be the waiting time of P1 plus burst time of P1 plus burst time of P2. Fine. This is the exact waiting time. How we are calculating? So that can I come up with? So whatever waiting time we will calculate, so it will be depend upon earlier process. Okay, earlier process which are uh, going to execute. Fine. That is the reason we have written the waiting time of n for a process n. So waiting time of process n will be always equal to waiting time of before that process plus Amount of time that process before the before that process will occupy the CPU. Similarly, we can find the turnaround time. Turnaround time of n is nothing but waiting time of the process n plus the burst time of that process n. Fine, clear. So once you calculate these two, now we can easily calculate the average waiting time. So the average waiting time is very simple. This total number of waiting time by number of process similarly the average turnaround time which is nothing but total number of uh, sorry total turnaround time by total number of process fine so once we are calculated this two now we will end our program fine so this is the algorithm part what we have to do okay in case of uh, executing sorting job first so any query regarding this algorithm Any questions regarding this algorithm? Any doubt? Yes. Any doubt? No, sir. No doubt. तो यहाँ पर एक चीज हम लोग एक्स्ट्रा कर रहे हैं तो पहले क्या कर रहे हैं याद रखना है जितने भी प्रोसेस आ रहे हैं ठीक है जितने भी प्रोसेस आ रहे हैं 
that all process should be sorted should be sorted first jitne bhi process aaye hain all of them should be scheduled first pehle sabko schedule karna zaroori schedule karna hai sir it should be sorted first sort karna zaroori hai sort bhi kaise karna hai increasing order mein sort karna hai fine so just write down this algorithm first everyone write down this algorithm i'm just giving you few minutes to write down this first algorithm so once you write down this algorithm now it will be easier to convert it into the programming part ठीक है एक बार algorithm लिख लीजिए आप लोग क्योंकि ये lab में लिखना है lab copy में सबको लिखना है lab copy में कैसे रहेगा so the name of the uh, name of the experiment or name of the experiment will be this one then you have to write the algorithm part okay the algorithm part then you have to write the uh, programming part then what will be your output part so just write down first write down any few so once it is completed just inform me so that we can move further Aniket Singh, are you there? Aniket, Aniket Singh, are you there? Room number twenty-six. Sam Sarang Prasad, room number twenty-five. Is present? Yes, sir. Okay. Kajal Kumari. Yes, sir. Rehan, phone number eighty-seven. Yes. Rehan. Yes, sir. Khan, phone number sixteen. Yes, sir. Aditya Kumar, phone number eighty-four. Yes, sir. Sankar, phone number four. Ravi Sankar. Yes, sir. Room number seventy-six. Anya Kumari. Yes, sir. Room number twenty-four. Savitri Kumari. Room number twenty-four. Akash Aman. 
Akas, are you there? Okay, Akas is not there. Okay, is not there. Chandni. Yes, sir. Alavi, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So, is it completed, all of you? All of you return the algorithm? Sir, attendance kaha denge hum log? Attendance chat box pe likho, lekin mein cross check kar raha hoti. Agar jo nahi bola, mein absent kar dhe. What is your name? Kya naam hai? Sir, Amiji Dutta. Okay, just write down your name in chat box. Okay, sir. Your name and registration number. Okay. Sir, Preeti Kumar is here. Ah, ठीक है. Sir, मेरा हो गया. I'm just randomly call के आप लोग ठोके नहीं. The surprise attendance call. Okay. Just write down your name and roll number in chat box. So that will be considered as your attendance. Okay. So, is it over? All of you return the algorithm. So what editor we are using for implementation? Can you use upload DFC, code block, Java, C++, you can type C++ code also in DFC. So which editor we are using? So DFC plus. So, so let me write the once you put clear with the algorithm part. Now programming part is very easier because we already know programming is nothing but some syntax or semantic syntax instruction or group of some valid syntax that are grouped together. That is called programming. Okay. So let me paste the program for this code. So let me explain. Okay. So. So again, the first two parts you have already know what is this. These are the library files that we have to include. Then we are having a main function. So as any programming language, it will always start from main main function. Fine. So uh, basically, we can say C and C plus plus language. Then we are always using a main function where your program starts. Now this is the main function. Now this is what is the main function. Now what we have done. Now I taken a array okay array linear it is a type now i am considering an array of it is a type p now what will a p do it will store the number of process okay int p kya karega it will store the number of process similarly one more array this ka naam bhi hum log bt so what bt will be do it will store the first time okay first time for each process now i will have a wt wt will be going to store the waiting time of each process now i am having one more array tat tat was the turn around time it will going to store the turn around time so these are the four array we have to consider all are integer type fine ek to aapka process number of process ko store karne ke liye next ho gaya aapka process ka burst time next ho gaya jo waiting time hum log calculate karenge uske baad turn around time uske alawa hum logo ne kuch variable liya hai like variable i i jab उंट करेंगे हम लोग फॉर रूप के लिए ठीक है देन हम लोग के ले रहे हैं ओके के बेसिकली आर यूज फॉर नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू यूज टू फॉर लूप्स हियर ओके दैट इज अंदर आई एम टेकिंग टू वेरिएबल्स सो इनसेट द नेस्टेड फॉर लूप्स देन देयर इज अ वेरिएबल कॉल्ड टेंप हियर ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ टेंप टेंप हम लोग यूज कर रहे हैं क्योंकि हम लोग को स्वैपिंग करना है 
you have to sort the element now for sorting the element what you have to do interchange the values okay or interchange in between the process then similarly i'm having a float one float type variable fine uh, which is your average which is going to store your average waiting time and one float type which is going to store your average terminal time fine now you have, this is your step number one kya tha? Now you have to take input from a user number of process. Now this is your step number one in all in the algorithm. Jo aapka tha, when aap dekho ke step number one kya tha aapka? Step number one tha aapka take the input from the user. Now I'm asking enter the number of process. Sub the, suppose the user enter five number of process. Okay. Suppose it will enter five. So a variable the n, jahan pe hum log number of process ko store kar rahe. Now suppose five. Okay. Now we take an n here na. So n will be going to store number of process. Suppose I enter 5, now scan f percentage d and percent n. So it will take input from the user and it will store the value at the address of n, which will be equal to 5. Clear? This is step number 1 algorithm. Now, what do you have to do? process, each process ka process ID or bus time assign. Karna hai. Now, step number 2. Now, you can see here now that is the reason I am using the for loop here. Now what we have done, now I'm using your for loop here. Now this is your step number two. Okay, here you can view. This is step number two algorithm. Ka. Kya tha hum ko? Jo bhi process hum log liye hai, us process ka process ID or bus time lena hai. To isliye process kitne hai? Five hai. Isliye hum log ko ek for loop chalayenge. For loop kaans chalayenge? I equal to zero se leke I is less than one. Okay, hum log ab assume kar raha process I, process start from P0, P1, P2, P3 and P4. So this is our process ID. Dege, Along with that, what do we do? First time assign karenge is process. Ka. Fine. This is my step number 2. Yes or no? If you have algorithm, you will have ka step number 2. Ta. How is it possible? Now I equal to 0. I is less than 1. I plus plus. So what I am assigning? P of I. Now this this is my array. Ana? P of I. Kya kar tha? P of I will be going to store. Going to store. Your process, okay? So this will be array. Now we store the array. Like I will give process number zero. Now it will be p of zero. Now p of one, p of two, p of three, and p of four. Similarly, bt. Now this is, will be your array bt. A bt me kya store hoga? Now this will be your p. Okay, it is something like it will store like zero, one, two, three. Okay. Now bt will be store your first time. Whatever first time. Suppose I enter 10, 20, 30. 40 and 50. Now it will go into store 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Fine. Okay. So you have to print now the printf number of the process will store the bus time. Okay. In case of BT and in PI, it will store the process ID. Now this will be end of your step number two. So what is the step number three, anyone? Katha step number three. Now this is your step number three. Can anyone elaborate me what is step number three in the algorithm? Chatha step number three. So what we will do once you get the process ID and bus time? Yes. Once we are having the process ID and bus time, what we have to do? Uh, assign the process name. So shorting for that. Yeah, process name we are already assigned. Here we assigned the process name or array array P name. We have stored there. Along with that, first time we did it. Uske baad sorting karna hai. Okay. Step number three, jo isko sorting karna. Kisko sorting karna hai? Ye jo array tha, isko sorting karna. Kis order me order of the first time. First time ke order me sorting karna. Now I can see here. Now this is a process step number three. But you have to see how to step number three. Aapka. Okay, sorting is nothing but how sorting is performed. You can use any sorting algorithm. So, if you sorting algorithm, you can use the set pro. Okay, either selection sort, urban sort, okay, or uh, any linear search. You can use any linear search algorithm that we are studying. Fine, or you can go for the binary search also. That is no problem. So, we have to sort. Uh, in case of sorting, the simple logic kya tha? you have to interchange between the process. 
ओके नाउ सपोज कंसीडर द रैंडम नंबर 10 20 हो गया ना शॉर्टिंग यहां पर नहीं है अभी सो कंसीडर लाइक इट इज 30 ओके नाउ सपोज द प्रोसेस आईडी सर पॉसिबल नाउ सपोज दिस 30 नाउ दिस इज 20 for the first time i'm trying to consider i will just you know 40 okay now how how i have to sort now i have to perform the comparison between this two i have to compare the first super selection sort agar bol rahe hain hum log to kya karenge hum in dono element ke beech mein compare karenge jo element chhota hoga kya karenge suppose i will compare if the first time of this process is less than this one so i will interchange between these two process this is the simple concept of selection sort तो सेम थिंग हम लोग यहाँ पर के और आई इक्वल टू जीरो से एन तक ठीक है तो मेरी के इक्वल टू वन नाउ के सेकेंड वैल्यू को लेंगे क्योंकि सेकेंड एलिमेंट से इसलिए के वन से स्टार्ट किए ठीक है दिस सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेलेक्शन शॉर्ट वॉट एवर दिस कोड इज रिटर्न इट इज अ सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेलेक्शन शॉर्ट ओके सो नाउ हम कंपेयरिंग इफ बी ऑफ आई इज ग्रेटर देन बी ऑफ के इफ इट ग्रेटर क्या करना है आपको इंटरचेंज करना है अगर now i'm assuming this is my i th index this is my k th index now if bt of i is greater than bt of k then what i have to do what i have to do i will take change so while it is changing what i am doing i am keeping with the help of temporary variable so i am taking the help of temporary variable or temporary variable se hum logo ne yahan par kya kiya pehle row style mein likha fir hum logo ne second part jo yahan par aapka hai yahan par kya karna hai hum प्रोसेस को चेंज कर रहे हैं पहले पार्ट में क्या किया हम लोग फर्स्ट टाइम को चेंज किए सेकंड पार्ट में हम लोग प्रोसेस को भी चेंज करना है क्योंकि फर्स्ट टाइम के साथ ये ऑर्डर भी चेंज हो रहा है इसलिए हम लोग दोनों में परफॉर्म करें शॉपिंग किस पर परफॉर्म करें दोनों में परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं फाइन क्लियर दिस इज योर स्टेप नंबर थ्री ना वॉट इज अ स्टेप नंबर फोर नाउ टू इफ द वेरी फर्स्ट प्रोसेस ना टू इंडिसलाइज वेटिंग टाइम टू जीरो एंड टर्न अराउंड टाइम विल बी योर फर्स्ट टाइम है कि नहीं हम लोग बात अगर वेरी फर्स्ट प्रोसेस है उसका वेटिंग टाइम क्या होगा जीरो होगा और टर्न अराउंड टाइम क्या होगा उसका फर्स्ट टाइम होगा क्लियर दिस इज स्टेप नंबर फोर ओके नाउ द स्टेप नंबर फाइव द इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप नाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टर्न अराउंड टाइम फॉर और वेटिंग टाइम एंड टर्न अराउंड टाइम फॉर ईच प्रोसेस सो दैट इज द रीजन ईच प्रोसेस इसलिए यहाँ पर फॉर लू का हेल्प ले रहे हैं हम लोग जब टेकन हेल्प ऑफ फॉर लू ओके Now, while this for loop, what I have to do? I have, I have to calculate the waiting time and turn around time. Now you can see the waiting time and turn around time. What formula we are use? The waiting time of process n will be, or process i will be, i minus one waiting time of i minus one plus first time of i minus one. Similarly, turn around time of i will be turn around time of i minus one and first time of i. Similarly, you have to calculate the average waiting time and turn around time. So once this process is completed, now I will calculate the Average. How to calculate the average? Average is very simple. It will be now. Average will be average waiting time by n and turn around time will be average turn around time by n. Fine. Now it will display the waiting time. Clear? So this is step number five. Once this is over, this can complete. So the time is less than one. So as the link will be ended, do join the same link again. So any doubt regarding this program? So again, I'm repeating. If the link is over, time is over, then you have to join the same link again. So just go through this program for one minute and join the link again. And if you have any 